the burial tomb of Pharaoh Finster. Mm. Mm. But master, the ancient scriptures say, Whoever defiles the tomb of Pharaoh Finster shall be cursed. The guardian of the chamber will seek revenge. Forever and ever, into eternity! Ah! Raticus, more volume, more volume! I laugh in the face of your silly curse! <laughs> You'll be sorry! The Guardian lives! The curse of Pharaoh Finster is unleashed! And it's not a movie, it's a classic. And I wanted to see the ending! You mean where the mummy unleashes his vengeance via his gruesome grip and... Don't tell me! What? Today's subject matter will concern the ancient Egyptian Valley of the Kings, which was featured prominently on television last night in the film classic... Oh, uh, I, I know. Uh, the Curse of Pharaoh Finster. That's right, Marcus. Now, the Valley of the Kings is located on the west bank of the Nile and contains more than 60 royal burial sites, including the tomb of King Tutankhamun, otherwise known as King Tut. <laughs> Mrs. Snodgrass, I have the perfect book, The Valley of the Kings, all the facts. It's the only book you'll ever need on the subject. I'm certain it will be very helpful, Lydia. Now! The largest known tomb of the Sons of Ramses was discovered in 1995. There's more! Thank you, Lydia. Now, to be a royal in Egyptian times was a swanky affair. Not only did they set you up in a big palace, but when you passed on, they gathered priceless jewelry, your favorite foods, and all sorts of nifty things, and put them with you into a burial chamber. A very similar to this one! <laughs> wow! That is so, so cool. awesome! Oh, extraordinary! It's an exact replica! It's perfect in every detail, Mrs. Snodgrass! Oh, oh, thank you, Marcus. I couldn't sleep after the movie, so I just ripped it up! Say, that looks exactly like the one from the movie last night! Hmm, there are some similarities, but it's hardly perfect. <laughs> what kind of weirdo would want to build a model burial chamber anyway? Except, of course, uh, for a super genius weirdo. D uh, drop the weirdo part, D even uh, just a super G. Enough! This is the tomb of the Pharaoh Finster! But, Mrs. Snodgrass, my book of the facts lists every burial chamber in the Valley of the Kings, and there's no mention of a Pharaoh Finster. That doesn't mean it, it doesn't exist, Lydia. Precisely. Come have a closer look, Billy. Thanks, Mrs. Snodgrass. What? Uh, uh, I'm allergic to sand. Gesundheit. Look at all the jewels. Man, they were loaded! <laughs> loaded they were! <laughs> the Egyptians had to guard against grave robbers, so the tombs were carefully sealed amid a complex series of secret passageways and hidden rooms. And when they really meant business, a curse was placed on the entrance. <laughs> like the curse of Pharaoh Finster. Precisely! <laughs> 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 
Hey, you have something in common with those two, Phantom. They like scary movies, too. I have absolutely nothing in common with them, for I am the master of the macabre. That's what I meant, the master of the McNab. Not the McNab, you fool, the macabre. What did I say? There's no mention of any ancient curses in my book, Mrs. Snodgrass. Well, Lydia, the curse of feral fensters from the famous film. <laughs> but it's just a movie. What did she say? She said it was just a movie. I heard her! Not just a movie, dear. A film classic. But it's not factual. Not factual? What did she say? She said... I heard her! Well, if she wants it factual, I'll make it factual. I turn flying Rhino Junior High into the Phantom's Egyptian tomb. Then I'll seal it up for all eternity. Girl's ah! up to his old tricks again. Ah! Oh. chair is called a ceremonial palanquin, used to transport such important figures as Cleopatra. <laughs> Come along. I have the feeling we're in for some glorious educational opportunities. <laughs> Tight. Um, where are we? I think we're in Mrs. Snodgrass's model, the burial chamber of Pharaoh Finster. Except it's not a model anymore. And there was never any Pharaoh Finster. He's not in my book. He existed in the movie, Lydia. And this is exactly like the movie. What are all these symbols on the walls? Hieroglyphs. Ancient Egyptian pictorial system of writing. Very highly advanced. But not too advanced for the Marcus Mini Megamind. It, it says this tomb was built to honor someone called Pharaoh Fantu. See? I told you there was no Pharaoh Finster. And there's no Fantu either. But there is a phantom. Wow! This Pharaoh guy looks just like Earl. And Fantu, Phantom? What a coincidence! Or not. Oh, these foolish children have no idea who they're dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have no idea who they're... Ah! Yes, Raticus, it is I, the Pharaoh Fantu. Fantu? Fantu! Uh, but I thought you were the Phantom. Phantom! But now I'm Fantu! Um, uh, 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 fa fan who? Never mind! This is all from the movie. What movie? The Curse of the Pharaoh Finster. It's about this archaeologist who defiles a pharaoh's tomb. And that's when, well... That's when what? When terrible things happen. What things? Uh, you don't want to know. I want to know! So do I. I slept through this part. Oh, well, uh, th that's when the curse goes into uh, effect and... Would you two stop? We don't have time for nonsense like dumb movies and silly curses. What'd she say? Yeah, she said, I heard her. Well, we might not be cursed as long as nobody removes anything from the burial chamber. A especially not the... Ruby, no! What? You don't mean to tell me priceless jewelry is covered under the curse. We can't remove anything, especially not the golden scarab. Golden scab? Ew! Not scab, scarab. It's a bug, like a beetle. 
Removing it from its sacred burial place will surely unleash the curse. Ooh, we, we, we've got to hurry. Uh, look up at the ceiling. The climax of the movie occurs when the sun's rays entered the chamber and hit the golden scarab. Then, this entire structure will be sealed. Anyone caught inside will be trapped forever. How long do we have? Uh, according to my sky charts, the Earth will be at the correct angle to the sun in exactly 16 minutes. There should be a hidden doorway somewhere, triggered by a cleverly disguised mechanism. Somewhere right about here. See? It's all in the book. This secret passageway should take us directly to the exit. Is this what happened in the movie? Yes, and then... I don't want to know! You're letting them get away, Phantom. On the contrary, I'm about to seal their fate. Observe. Oops, I forgot my book. I'll catch up with you soon. Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Take me. I am a beautiful golden scarab. The most beautiful golden scarab you have ever seen. You cannot resist me. Take me. Take me. Take me. Ancient curses. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, right. And bingo was his name, oh! <laughs> yeah, bingo! <laughs> now who's bingo? Gesundheit! Thanks. Which way should we go? In the movie, they turned right. It was the last right turn they ever made. Then we'll turn wrong. Here, left. Aww. According to my book, we go right. Mommy, 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 mommy. Mommy! 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 Is it Lydia up here? No, she was behind us. <laughs> How did you get here? I took another secret passageway. I think it's the one we're looking for. It's through the Great Hall, down here. Looks like your book is leading you to a dead end this time. Or not. I could have told you about that, Billy. It was in the movie. Seven minutes until sunrise. We've got to hurry. Come on. This is the Great Hall? Talk about media hype. There's nothing in here except... Hello, children! So glad you finally decided to rejoin the class. Mrs. Mrs. Snodgrass? Snodgrass? Those are the Pharaoh's attendants. And attend they do. What are they doing? According to my book, the Pharaoh's attendants prepare you for the journey to the other side. Which means being embalmed and wrapped in bandages. Oh, oh, oh. gentlemen, that tickles. But don't you dare stop. <laughs> we gotta find another way out of here. The Egyptians equipped every room with it. Never mind the book. Follow me. Look out, Mrs. Snodgrass. You're gonna be a mummy. Perhaps one day, Billy, but thank you for the happy thought. <laughs> that was fun. Fun? Fun? What did he say? He said... I heard him! Oh. 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 Well, I 
told you there'd be a ventilation duct, didn't I? But it was Marcus who knew where the vent was. Lucky guess. I would have found it in my book. Everything's in my book. <gasps> what? Is that in your book? <laughs> uh, my book has a great deal of information about... Marcus, what's going on? Straight out of the movie, Billy. Whoever defiles the Tomb of Pharaoh Finster shall be cursed. Forever and ever into eternity! <laughs> that sure is a good curse. Who defiled? Who defiled? Lydia! Okay, okay, so I took the scarab. I just wanted to prove there was no such thing as a... <laughs> <laughs> Boy! Come on, let's get out of here! No! Stop! What? We have to take the scarab back to the burial chamber, or else the mummy will stalk us wherever we go! That's impossible! He's immortal! Just because it's not in your book doesn't mean it can't happen! I still have to see it to believe it. Ah! Okay, I believe it. Three minutes to go! Ah! All these passageways lead to complex mazes. Uh, we may never find our way back. We have to use my book. Forget, Forget it. it! Ever heard of a paper trail? Excellent! Excellent. Mommy's in lousy physical condition. He's 6,000 years old!
that old curse turned out to be pretty rotten, didn't it, Phantom? Yeah, nothing worse than a rotten curse. All right, Radicus. Sorry, Phantom, yeah, but I'm quite upset about that curse. I've had it up to here with that curse. I'm indicating my neck, by the way. 